Hey guys, what's up? Hey girl, hey, it is your girl Tosh and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you guys, I have been seeing this video going around favorite fall palettes. Well, I'm going to step it up just a notch and I'm going to make this my favorite fall and winter palettes because I think that where I live, especially in Northern Illinois, we don't really get one or the other season anymore. We literally get both mixed right together. So if you guys want to see what I picked for my favorite palettes of the seasons, then just stay tuned. All right, you guys. So in order for me not to make this a 30 minute video, and I so mean it this time, I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. I'm probably not going to tell you huge specifics of why each one is my favorite for this type of season, but these are generally the palettes I reached for either the year before last or the ones that I can't wait to reach for this year. Starting off with palette one. All right, you guys, so the first palette is from Milani. And surprising enough, you can still get these. If you check their website, they are in the sales section. These came out, they were $20, I believe, 15 at your local Walmart if you could find them at Walmart because these were a hot commodity. This is the Milani Soft and Sultry Palette. And if you take a good look at this, babe, you can totally tell why I love this one for fall and winter. To me, you can create those soft, sultry, glam looks without breaking the bank. And I believe if you can still get these, they are around nine or $10. That's a, that's a pretty good amount for a palette that is this good. These last all day long. They're super creamy, super blendable. They're just so pretty. I mean, need I say more? That's one swipe right there. I love this palette for those two seasons. The next two palettes, you guys, I'm going to show you are by LA Colors. LA Colors is super affordable. And I know some people are probably going, LA Colors is so cheap. LA Colors has become so dope. These two palettes right here, you got the invite only and the after party. Now these are two that I reached for all year last year. And there's a good reason for that. They are super buttery, pigmented, creamy. Just go watch the videos. I'll have them in a um, playlist for you to make it easier. So look at all of the colors that you get between these two palettes. So the two rows that you are seeing, is a palette. This is a palette. This is invite only and this is after party. These palettes are $8.50 you guys and when I tell you that they perform like a high-end palette, they perform like a high-end palette. These are so good. If you don't have these palettes, I'm telling you, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what you're waiting for. I really don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the next two palettes I'm going to talk to you about are both from Alter Ego. I have the Sahara palette, which is absolutely stunning, as well as the Temptress palette. This one is an exact dupe for the Sultra palette, Sultry palette by Anastasia, which was limited edition. So if you're looking for something of similar quality or better, that's your girl right there. It's perfect for those everyday neutral sexy and sultry fall looks. The Sahara palette is also one that I love for the fall. I mean, it just screams fall. And to a lot of people that might be nice and neutral, but hey, some of us like nice and neutral, do we not? We all know that Alter Ego is super affordable, so why not pick them all up? <laughs> all right, you guys, the next one you can find at your local CVS, Target, or even your local Walmart store. You can find this in the makeup file next to all of the drugstore makeup. Now, 50% of people hate this palette, 50% of people love this palette. Where did I get those figures from? I made them up in my head. This is an absolutely gorgeous palette again for fall time. It just screams fall. You have all of the colors that you would need or you could take this and use it with another palette. Whatever you prefer, you know, makeup is versatile. It's, it's whatever you want. There are no rules in makeup, but look at these colors. And this palette, was really really good this is their soda pop palette it is so much better than the lemonade craze one that one I actually got rid of it just wasn't good but this this is on a whole nother level like Maybelline stepped it up with this one so the next one is by ColourPop everybody's favorite they pump out palettes like they're going out of style 
This was one of my favorites. This is the It's My Pleasure palette. We got a bunch of beautiful, beautiful shades of purple in here. This is their monochromatic series there. And I just love this, especially for fall time, um, maybe around New Year's time or whatnot. I don't think a lot of us are going to be celebrating this year at New Year's parties and whatnot, but you can still look good while you watch the ball drop with your boo. <laughs> I can tell you guys also that ColourPop is always having a sale on these as well as you can buy them in a bundle and really save yourself some coins. So definitely, definitely worth checking out. The next one that I'm going to talk to you about is from one of my favorites. I would say they're not super high end, but they are still classified as high end. I'm sure I'm talking about the Supreme Nudes palette by Artist Couture. And I just think that it also screams fall, but you could totally rock this all seasons long. I mean, all of the colors that are in here literally go with every season. But when I see this area of the palette over here, I see fall. I mean, that gorgeous green to the gorgeous uh, shimmer right here that kind of looks like an orange color. It's just beautiful and it creates beautiful looks literally for all seasons. Alright you guys, the next palette that I am going to show to you guys, you can either find online at their website or you can find it at some of your local CVS stores and I am talking about the LA Girl Pro Palette in Mastery. The reason I chose this one is because of all of these dark pinks and purples. Now some people might say this is more spring. To me, I see both, but I really see fall when you get into these darker colors right here and the amount of like mattes and things like that and the colors, it really helps to kind of blend some of these colors out. Also, they're super affordable. Um, I do know that they have the Break Free palettes out now. I believe those are both good for fall, but I also haven't tried those colors. So I can only speak to you on this one and I reached for this a lot in the fall last year. All right, you guys, the next palette I'm gonna show you, I actually have an affordable dupe for, so if you do not wanna buy the high-end one, you can totally buy the dupe because I am telling you, it's dead on dupe, but I even think that the lower end one, well, we won't say lower end, let's say more inexpensive, is better. I'm talking about the Naked Honey Palette by Urban Decay. I love this and I am going to use this whole palette up because it was super expensive, but, when I saw that W7 released the Queen Bee palette, I was like blown away by the formula in here. Now I have tried some of their other palettes um, that are not in the tin like this. This one is the bomb. Even some of you, when I, when I released that video, you couldn't tell which one was high end. You actually guessed that this one was the dupe and that this one was high end. These are $10 on the W7 website. As always, everything will be linked down below so that you can find it. But these are great for fall. Every color in this palette you will use for fall. The next one I'm not even going to open up and show you. I'm just going to show it to you just because I think that it screams fall. And I honestly think that if everybody watching this video right now did not have this exact palette, you had a dupe for it. If not now, in the past, you definitely had a dupe for it. I'm talking about the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. Now, this is the second time I've purchased this one. This is a fresh one, um, and I've had it sitting in my collection for a while just because I haven't reached for it yet. I haven't really felt the need to reach for it yet, but I had gotten rid of it um, because I wasn't using it in the past, like probably around the time that it first came out and whatnot. Um, and then I found so many dupes for it, but I really wanted to add it to my collection because I do love Anastasia. This color story though is fall through and through and through. Those cranberries, the browns, the oranges, this whole palette, you will use this whole thing for fall. And I did not bring the dupe over here, but if you look at Wet n Wild and look at their rose in the air, that's a dupe. I could find you and list you, and I will. I will list you so many dupes down in the description box that are actually identical to this that you won't even know you didn't have the Modern Renaissance palette. All right, guys, the next one I have raved about on my channel before as well and shown you a million times, so I'm not going to take it out of the box. This is the You Can Be Belonging palette. I think this is a great palette for fall as well. This is a dead-on, shade-for-shade, name-for-name dupe from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And the formula in this one, I actually prefer this one over the Urban Decay one. So if you're looking for something with pops of color in it, all season ready this is your girl i have this in like every favorite palette video <laughs> the next two are by amores you guys know i love amores i love their formulas 
Um, my top pick for the fall is always Femme Fatal. I've used this for the last two years, the last two falls, the last two winter times. The color story on this is so beautiful and the formula is to die for. Now as you can tell by looking at her, she has got some use. $15, you can get this for $15 on their website. And it's just one of those formulas that will blow your mind for $15. Now I know some of you that have been watching my videos for quite a while have already started buying the Amoris palettes and I know that some of you have this. If you have used this formula and you agree with me that it is out of this world for $15, comment down below, let the girls know. This is a beautiful palette. It sells out all the time. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go through the last and final palette. Oops. Snow Queen is another good one. This is also by Amoris. If you have not seen that video, go ahead and give it a check out up there. Stay and watch this video first, please. This is another one to me that screams fall and winter for sure. All of those beautiful icy blues. So stunning. I mean, you could get away with the oranges and the greens and the browns and things like that for fall. And then this could carry you right into the wintertime if you loathe blue eyeshadow. And I'm just going to show you guys some of how beautiful this palette is. I mean, where else are you gonna get pigment like this for $15? You're not. Until you see my next brand that I'm gonna recommend to you that is. So before we get into the final brand that I'm gonna recommend to you guys for my favorite fall palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one in here. This is the Wet n Wild, the 40 palette. You can still get this on their website. It's super inexpensive. They have it on sale all the time. In any color that you are looking for, it is right here in this palette. And these shadows are this creamy. I'm not even kidding. I love this palette. It's so inexpensive for everything that you're getting. Super blendable. You can do any look with this palette. You have every color of the rainbow right here. All right, you guys, two more palettes before we get to that last and final brand that I was teasing you about. We're going to go with the Busy Art. This is the Spritz Edit. I love this palette. Literally every color in there you're going to use for the fall. Um, and they are an amazing, amazing eyeshadow brand, you guys. I've never regretted buying one of these palettes. They're so beautiful. They last all day long. And they're going to last because you don't need to pick up as much pigment as you would in, let's say, a drugstore palette. Jackie Ina palette. I also have a dupe for this one. I just filmed with it. I put it away. If you guys want to check out my video where I use the C color palette called Dust Till Dawn, I will link it up here for you. Exact dupe for this palette. I know this was limited edition. But I can tell you that while they still carry this palette, it is usually on sale. So you can get this for half price as long as you watch the websites. Beautiful formula, beautiful palette. It's literally all the colors that you need for fall. Give you guys a quick peek. Stunning! The C color Dust to Dawn is an exact dupe of this. You won't even know that you're not using the high-end palette. But if you want to splurge on yourself, I'm telling you, I'd get the Jackie Ina one. I love them both. I'm going to use them both. Last and final. Y'all know I could not pick just one because I'm going to talk to you about Profusion. And I'm literally just going to name these off and kind of show them to you real quick. I can't pick just one. If somebody was like, look, if the world was going to end tomorrow, which Profusion palette would you pick? I can't pick just one. I'm sorry. Just keep it real. You guys can save 10% off at Profusion with the code SAVE10. Or if I got it wrong, you can find it down in the description box. Not affiliated. So I would pick the Starlet palette for the fall for sure. Look at all those beautiful, deep, jewelry s tones. They're just so stunning. And to get 35 shades for the price of these palettes, girl. Of course, the Paradise palette, to me, would pair very nicely with it. This one's got more of the like greens and browns and uh, what else? Purples, some pinks, oranges. This would pair like a sister to it, the Paradise palette. The Mirage palette has all of those beautiful pink and orangey tones. It's literally fall and summer, but I'm saying fall right now. This one I think would be beautiful for the winter time. It's literally fall taking you into winter, and then you can just mix it for winter. Beautiful blues, greens, and yellows. This one is an all-season one. You could totally get away with this anytime, but I like it for the summer and the fall. 
So very beautiful purples and pinks, but mostly purples. The Love Struck palette. And then this one, sometimes they will bring back on their website or sometimes you can find this in Walgreens around Christmas time. This is the Ultra Cool palette, 35 shades by Profusion, of course. And this one to me is just perfect for the fall and winter time. You got all of your blues here. You've got some deep plum shades, browns, a lot of neutrals over here, some more icy blues. Beautiful palette. You can usually find this in a local Walgreens for about $20. If you wait till after Christmas, they do clearance this out and it is only $10. But again, Profusion is worth the 20 bucks if you guys can find this. Um, I do know that they also have this on their website, sometimes around the holiday time. So it might even be on the website right now. I'm telling you guys, if you can find this on their website, get it. I think this was one of the first, no, it's not the first. It's one of the first 35 shade palettes that I ever owned from Profusion. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It wasn't the first, it was one of the first. But they're stunning, you guys. And they don't cost a lot of money. If I haven't turned you on to Profusion yet, what in the double H-E-L hockey sticks are you waiting on? <laughs> all right, you guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you kind of enjoyed all of my fall and winter palettes. I want to know what are your favorite fall and winter palettes. If you can sound off down below in the comment section. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's video. As always, I want to say thank you to you guys for taking time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. It means the world to me. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.